So, our next guest is a good friend of mine. He's a comedian here in Mississauga. It's Jeff Estrella. Hey. How you I doing? Totally shaved for your show, as you can see. Amazing. Yes. Good for this you. This is I used the razor from three years ago. <laughs> it was still. I love your band. Yeah, they're great. They're fun. Yeah, we are. Yeah, Aww. they're they're awesome. Do you have to buy that box, or do you make it yourself? So, right. the, the box that he's talking about is is uh, Juan Santos's percussion instrument called the cajon. Oh, he's and got a uh, great sounding name. Yeah, Juan, Juan Santos. Santos. He sounds like he should be on a soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> have you been seeing what? Juan Santos? What what would Juan oh, what would a Juan Santos I character be? He would be that guy. He would be having an affair with a married woman. <laughs> I, he'd be like, he'd be like, I can't talk right now, Juan. My husband is here, but it's Juan Santos. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Um, so, um, Jeff. Jeff. Jeff has been performing around Mississauga, and you perform around in Toronto yep. quite a bit. Uh, what was what was your latest fun um, excursion of the comedy world? At the excursion, uh, we went to the Rendezvous. Himalayas. Did you really? No, you said it's excursion. I don't know. <laughs> Rendezvous. Sounds like I'm going, like I'm going to have, I need a Sherpa to Adventure. do comedy. Adventure. Um, I, I, we get on an Absolute a lot. I go to Absolute every, pretty much every week now. Oh, nice. So, that's great. Uh, I don't necessarily get on every week, but I go there every week, and that's a fun <laughs> room. Uh, I go there to, uh, to meet people and talk to the other comics. And, okay. So that's like pretty much what I've been doing I mean I haven't gotten like to just for laughs yet or anything right. like that but but soon it's it takes coming. time right yeah. but you you've been you're like you're a baby in the comedy world right four years yeah, that's four it years. that's like seems to feel like four years that's a, like a university degree comedy that's just pre you're doing pre-med with that yeah that's it or yeah whatever the equivalent I, I don't know <laughs> I didn't go to med school I didn't either I should not even yeah earlier I joked about that it was called doctor school doctor As school a joke. I know it's what it's called. That's where they do medical doctor school. and stuff. <clears throat> I don't know where that voice came from. It's okay. I'm sorry. What, what characters? <laughs> what's the character name for that voice? I have. That is awkward. Uh, awkward Juan. Awkward Juan. That's okay. uh, it's, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's Santos's brother, Awkward Juan. Aww. Yeah, who's always scooping in his sloppy seconds. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> that's crazy. It's, so your band's totally gonna. Beat me up in the parking lot that's later. Okay. I think. Yeah, they probably will. <laughs> no, no, we're not. Uh, <laughs> that's good. That's very non-Latino of you. Uh, <laughs> Jay's not Latino. No. Are you kidding? Sure, I am. Jay's, oh, yeah. Jay's, you're not Latino. Aren't I? Are you? What's your, what's your background? Um, that's a really good tan, <laughs> or your Southeast Asian background. Two, number that's two. It. Okay. That covers a large part of the world. There's two billion of us. Yeah. <laughs> Were you invaded by people? The British. The, oh, okay, so I was going to say the Spanish, but your band, I love talking to your band, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> let's, let's talk about Jeff Estrella. Yes. What's your background? My background's Portuguese. Oh. Yeah. 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 Portuguese. Oh, oh, wow. Are you the one with the Honda Civic? The, con the control room is cheering, actually. Actually, Jennifer is also a Portuguese. Oh, we have Aaron a lot of. I could, Portuguese you, and... Do you know how we know each other? How do you know each other? Because I don't know if you know this, but Portuguese, your background's Filipino, right? It sure is. So we, we know that we're very good at cleaning, right? <laughs> because we come from a long line of janitors, right? OK. I don't know if you've had this happen yet. You might be too young for it. But have you had the passing of the mop where they, it's a ceremony we have in the Portuguese <laughs> culture. We're from one group to the other. We pass the mop, and and this is how you know Aaron? That's, and well, because we, we're very familiar with, we use bleach on everything. And so it's in our skin. So this is how you know the people in the, I was like, in the control room. I could smell them. I was like, oh, there's, there's some Portuguese people <laughs> here. I was like, so, why are you guys here? You should be cleaning people's houses. So tell us about this um, mop handing off ceremony. It's uh, OK. So I come from a long line of janitors. Right. Right. Uh, my father before me and my grand goes all the way back to, to the Roman times. OK. When uh, I have no idea where this is going. Oh, I was hoping There's no that, mop. I know, but I was no, hoping that you No, if anything, keep it would be one of those it. brooms, one of those straw brooms. <gasps> yeah, yeah, Filipinos have those. Do you guys have those too? But you know what? When you know you keep on using it, but then it gets shorter and shorter, but on an angle. It does, but then you get that space in the middle, mm. so it kind of looks like those mops in Fantasia. I did Can never. I. I I don't Talking watch that? television or movies. It, pretty much. No, I'm joking. Okay. Of course I watch television or movies. Look at the size of me. What else do I do? I don't exercise. I don't go to the gym. Yeah, no, well, exercise. what do you 
No, what actually, like yeah. TV? What do you like? What kind of TV shows are you into right now? Uh, I'm actually watching. I started watching. Uh, this is not a shadow to him, but is it Jay Bershamel? Or Jay? Oh yeah, yeah, the Canadian. His show, uh, Man Seeking Woman. <gasps> oh, is it good? I, I first I always had. If Jay's watching this, which I don't know if he is. He usually does. I usually. He tweets I, at us. I did a tweet at him once, and I don't know if he hated me afterwards. Okay. I always said that he was doing an impersonation of Christian Slater doing an impersonation of Jack Nicholson. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> like a third. And so how yeah. do you know he he read it? Did I don't you know. I just I assumed. Okay. Arlene, we were talking about this earlier when I messaged you. Right. On Facebook. You're right. I just assume everyone, when they see my messages, goes, oh, God, <laughs> this guy again? <laughs> Uh, that's how I interpret it. You could be on the other end. You'd be like, "Oh, hey, it's Jeff." That's, I'll be like, "I'll be funny. reading it in in my head. I'll have your face, and you'd be like, oh, man, this guy again.'" <laughs> so that's how I read them. No, it's a funny show, Man Seeking Woman. And is there any other shows that you're into right now? Uh, I don't. I was watching Game of Thrones. Okay. And then I stopped. Right. Because I was like, "This is." You can't talk to me about Game yeah. of Thrones. I have no idea. What's I just going I on. I quit half season like back in the last season. I, because of the content, because of actors. I just got bored or... with it. I was just like, okay. yeah, this is too much. Like, when yeah. when are they gonna have? Okay, winter's coming. Put a jacket on. Like, <laughs> why don't they just get to it? They were taking so long to drag it out. So I'm it, curious. That's copyright, by the way. I'm, if anybody yes. steals that line. I'm curious. So that's gonna be a new Jeff meme. Jeff Estrella, you are given um, a whole season to do. A TV show. What would your TV show consist of? My show. It's easy. You My need a band? Huh? You need a band. Uh, maybe as a like background. Yeah. But my show would totally be about um, trying to get out of my parents' house. That would be the whole thing. Or be living at their house for whatever reason. Right. And then trying to work my social life around that. <laughs> that would be the show, right? That's pretty trying funny. to hide it or trying well, to. What would you name it? Uh, so there's failure to launch was a movie. Right. I wanted to use the name Leftovers. Okay. But it's already being used by another show. Oh, so I see. I wanted, so I might call it Second Helpings. Like, you know, Ooh, yeah. Second Helpings. Because I find that with a lot of women that have been married and they have kids, and then they either get divorced. Right. I'm sort of like the second helping. They're like, oh, maybe I should have gone with that guy. <laughs> maybe he would have been the better choice. Uh, yeah, right? I would pay money to watch that. Um, Jay, you Jay can, said that he's I'll give you my PayPal account. <laughs> <laughs> can I borrow some money? <laughs> Jay's asking to borrow some money. He's not Mike, so that's why I have to keep repeating it. Um, okay, so uh, we've got a couple minutes left. Okay. Um, what are you up to this summer? This summer I'm going to be, well, in July, the end of July, I'm going to JFL. Okay. But not to be in it. Yeah. Just to go Just and to, watch and do some, maybe awesome. do some podcasting because I have my podcast, right. Laugh Saga. Which oh. has been a hiatus because uh, we've been retooling it, which is basically okay. means I've been really lazy and I haven't done it. Do it already. <laughs> it's we had we had a whole bunch of comedians on and I just I'm gonna change the format a little okay. bit, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Right. So, so last saga, um, tweet at Jeff and say put your podcast back up. Yeah. Hashtag yeah. last saga. Hashtag do it already. <laughs> Get it done. <laughs> Also tag us nighttime RTV. Uh, we've got about a minute. Um, so, uh, where where do you see yourself tomorrow? Tomorrow, <laughs> I like how so far in the future is like. Where do you see yourself in an hour? Uh, I'm well, gonna... I was trying to be creative. No, no, it's fun. If like you want to see where I'm going to be in an hour, uh, I'm going to go get a sandwich at On the Bun. <gasps> what kind? Uh, I get the meatball sandwich with oh. cheese. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you. I've. I've tried the veal before, and that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll be honest. I buy two sandwiches. The that's, juniors. That's okay. Yeah. I would, too. This but. is hard to maintain. This <laughs> takes a lot of work. <laughs> people, well, no, no, people think it's, it's a lot of work, right? Well, we don't yeah. want to stop you from getting your sandwiches. That sandwich sounds delicious right now. I'm hungry right now. <laughs> I know. Me, too. All right. I'll Maybe bring I'll some... go to On the Bun after. On a Bun. On, on, on the Bun. On, there's, yeah. You know what? There's two, th two like... Um, Restaurant places. One's called On a Bun, and one's On the Bun. Are they the same really owners? Good. No. So they're just competing. They're both in Mississauga. That's weird. Yeah, but I recommend both. But thank you for thank being you. here with us. Thanks for having me on. Jeff Estrell, everybody, make sure you tweet at him. Tell him to have Last Saga out there. <laughs> Take away Jake Cannon in the nighttime.